Hello and welcome to the first edition of the Real Talk Talk Back, and this is where we're going to have just students on our show, and we are actually on location here at First Coast High School, and I'm your host, Matt Began. And I'm Vicki Pierre. And we're going to go around the table, and we're going to get to know each one of our guests. We have five students, uh, all seniors. So first is Xavier Holloman. Hello. Um, I'm a student at First Coast High School. I... I basically attend school. I, <laughs> I try my hardest to at least make A's and B's, and I'm basically I'm trying to get across the stage. Um, my name is Sydney Redden. I am 17 years old. I am currently Miss First Coast High School 2016, and I am a cheerleader. I'm Cassie Drew. I'm the senior class president at First Coast. I've played varsity soccer. Uh, this will be my, my fourth year. Um, I'm involved in National Honor Society. Uh, I've got I've got a lot going on. I've got a a job outside a part time job outside of Millhouse or outside of First Coast at Millhouse, and um, I try to try to volunteer around the community as I can. And also we have Samantha Carter. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, I'm 17 years old. I'm going into my fourth year at our units NJRTC program. I'm going to be the commanding officer this coming year, so I'm very excited. I'm also involved in NHS. And I'm just looking forward to this year and walking across that stage. And last but not least, we have Megan Osborne. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, I am 17. I'm the National Honor Society president at, here at First Coast High School. Um, I'm really involved with that and dual enrollment classes, so a lot of college activity for this last year. I'm really excited. Well, we are thrilled to have all of you. Y'all are so diverse um, and y'all are quite involved, and we like that. We like to hear how uh, am ambitious you all are. So. How is it that your high school is helping you in achieving your goals? Because as I mentioned, y'all are all doing a lot of different things. How is this high school helping you get to where you want to be? I'm going to start with you. Well, like Megan said, we have dual enrollment. So I think it's a really good opportunity to go ahead and get those college credits as soon as possible. Because in past years, we have had people graduate with their AA. So they're pretty much already starting off with two years of college under the belt. So I think that's a really good opportunity to have at, in high school. Anyone else? First Coast also has a, a lot of good teachers that will back us up on anything we need. Um, there's a lot of people I can find for letters of recommendation. Um, I know there's a lot of teachers who, if we just want to get a club started, that will sponsor us. And, and a lot of them do really care about the students. So I guess my next question would be, are any of you at this table, is this your first year at First Coast? Good, now this will help this next question. <laughs> would you recommend this school to a, a, a brother or sister, you know, somebody coming up, uh, do you feel that this is the right school for uh, one of your family members to come to? Well, yeah. I personally believe that I would tell someone to come here because I know me, I didn't start off here my freshman year. I came in the middle of my sophomore year. I transferred, but this school is, is very home-like. It's like a big family, and we all have a lot of pride and respect for our school, and we want to uplift it. You'll always find like a different person at this school, someone that's interesting, and you will always make a friend no matter what you do. And so I am sure that y'all are aware of media coverage that has taken place at this school, and it's happened at many other schools in the district. Um, what would you say are some of the misconceptions that you've heard, whether it's the media or just people who maybe don't go to this school? What are some misconceptions you've heard about this school? The media focuses on football and violence. And, um, and I think it's because the media, I mean, even if you just look at uh, mass media about celebrities, they don't cover the good things celebrities do. Um, there are a lot of good kids at First Coast who've got a lot of good things going. Um, but they don't, they don't focus on it as much as because people aren't interested. Uh, but there are a lot of misconceptions and First Coast has built up a really bad reputation in the past year. but. I hope to change it this year. I hope to really be put back on the map as, as a model school. And to, we're, football isn't our only good thing. There's a lot more. <laughs> and, and you mentioned you wanted to do something to help. How do you feel that y you guys as social media experts, because let's be honest, everybody right now you know, has their Facebook, their Twitter, Instagram, has all that stuff. How do you use that for good instead of just posting fights? Oh, I know I personally... I like to be positive about the school because like Cassidy said, we have been getting a bad rep and it's not necessarily that people don't care. We have to make them notice and make them 
know that we're out here doing good things and it's not just about violence. Like when I post things about the school, I post positive events that's coming up and try to get people to come out because people usually just come to the football games. And I mean, that's cool because I'm a cheerleader and we need support, <laughs> but there's also other good things going on at school that nobody really like comes to because they don't really know about it. And Megan, I want to ask this question to you. When you hear things about your school that aren't true, how does that make you feel? How do you react to that? Um, I don't really like it. Like, um, a lot of the bad things come from people that don't go here, don't attend here, or really don't have anything to do with our school. So I feel as if it's not their place to talk bad about our school when they have no idea what goes on here. Like Cassidy said earlier, there's a lot of good kids here, and one bad apple shouldn't, like, ruin us all, I guess. And I think this will be an open question, and we, we talked about the things that go on. This is a rather large school. Um, how do you feel as far as students being seniors, uh, safety? Um, do you ever have a, an issue with just overall safety here? No. At this school, they give everything, everything to make sure that you're safe. Like all the classrooms are locked most of the time. So if there's a fight or something, the, you, they won't be getting in the classrooms. If there's a fire, we all know where to go. We're very far from the school. So I don't, I don't it's, it's very safe here. What about um, school resource officers and teachers patrolling, that kind of thing? Well, for the last week of school, we did have a lot more police activity, like police cars roaming around, because there was some outside people kind of trying to start stuff. So they did their best. And I know the superintendent also, Dr. Vitti, he put out there that there would be more police activity in case, so that way we would feel more safe coming to school, getting our education, even if, though it is the last week of school and not most of us are going to be there because some people are starting summer early. But it just kind of shows you that they are paying attention and that they are trying their best to make sure that we don't feel threatened on school campus. Um, I don't ever feel threatened at First Coast. I don't think that, like Samantha was saying, um, there was threats, but nothing did happen our last week of school. So I guess then I'll, I'll, ch I'll chime in here because this is, we'll go a little bit uh, different direction here. What's your responsibility then in that aspect? I mean, how do you as a student make sure that you are in the right place at the right time, not the wrong place for one time? <laughs> Um, a lot of the times you'll see kids, if a fight breaks out, they jump up and rush over. It's, uh, it's, it's insane. Everyone will get up in a cafeteria if there's a fight and they, they all move to where the fight is. Uh, I stay where I am because the worst thing is going to happen if you get in the middle of something that they don't want you in. And that creates, that creates a whole other problem besides the actual fight or whatever the incident is. Right, because is. then they and can't Then the, security, the guys that are here doing their jobs can't. And so moving on to our next question here, as students, how do you show the community the true First Coast High School? And we've been talking about this throughout, but what can you do to show people? We've got great programs. We've got these wonderful things going on. We're not what the media says we are. How, how do you all think you can do that? What's the best way to go about doing that? Drag your family. Drag your family through it. Hmm. Social media voicing your thoughts on everything instead of just telling your friends, getting out there? When I do things around the community, I don't necessarily make it known I go to First Coast. I, um, I, and that's not because I don't take pride in it. I love my school. I, I love being a Buccaneer. I would never go anywhere else. Um, but I don't want people to think the only reason I'm doing it is to lift up the reputation of the school because it's, it's not. I, I do it because it needs to be done or I want to do it. Well, Xavier, you mentioned drag your family. <laughs> What's that? Let's expand on that a little bit. Well, your family can always bring their friends and other people that are not from the school, and that can help spread the word that we're doing other things instead of just fighting. And so, I mean, as far as the community around you, and they seem to be the ones who have the biggest opinion on what type of school this is. It's not the people inside the walls. It seems to be the people standing outside the walls. How do you reach them? You can't. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, not necessarily can't, but a couple of years ago, First Coast was an F school. Our 2016 and 2015 turned it around, and I, and I take a lot of pride in that, too. Between our test scores, uh, we turned it into an A school, but people, it's easy to create opinion. It's hard to change opinion. Opinion was created when First Coast was an F school, when there were over 400 fights a year. That's when it was created. Now that it's getting better, people just don't want to acknowledge it. Does everyone agree with that? 
No, not necessarily. <laughs> well, that's good. Go ahead. Because I'm like, like I said it before, I didn't start off here. I where, went, where did you come from? I, I came ask. from Stanton. I was a student at Stanton my entire freshman year and half of my sophomore year. When I transferred to First Coast, I'm not even gonna lie. I personally had my opinions about the school, but then I sat back and thought, hey, I can't say anything. This isn't my school. I'm I'm new. I need to come and feel it out and see what all the talk is about. And I came to find out that First Coast is not what people say it is at all. We're not bad kids. And honestly, this community, like I said before, is very like home like we're all a big family. So I feel like if we know that we're not what people say we are, why should we have to prove to everybody else what we know is already true? Well, I mean, even if we do know, that's that's kind of stays within the school walls. We want to be able to push our, our good reputation out there, all the all the facts that we've had a lot of great leaders come out of the school, a lot of a lot of people that have signed over to different teams, whether it's football or basketball or we don't we don't just want to be known for all the bad press, even though we do know that we have a bunch of good students. We we want to be able to show the people that think that all we have are just those few bad apples that just kind of ruin the rest of the bunch. We want to be able to prove that this everything that they're seeing on the media isn't always what's actually going on at the school. So that'll lead me into our last question, okay? We're starting a new school year. We're a week away. You guys go back. We're, we're recording this on Tuesday morning, and you guys go back Monday officially for your senior year. And we'll go by, we'll just go around the table. What are things that you are doing or you are preparing yourself for to make this year to leave your legacy behind and to make First Coast High School seen in the eyes of the community? Because you guys know one thing inside the walls, but you got to also help perception in the community. What are some things that you're going to do and take ownership of to make First Coast High School that much better? Well, I think I'm going to take ownership of this year, just branching out and doing more things within our community and within the schools, like maybe be on the drama team or do other things that help promote this school more. Um, I'm going to take ownership, like Xavier said, and promoting the school more because I do have a leadership role as a cheerleader and as Miss First Coast. And so I am going to do everything in my world and every chance I get to make the community like notice or anybody who's willing to listen that we are not who the media says we are um my my goal for this year is is plain and simple and that's for 2016 to go down as the best senior class first coach i've ever seen um i want us to have the most attendance and just um i know last year a lot of things got canceled for the seniors because people wouldn't attend they didn't want to buy tickets they didn't want to go so they canceled the senior tailgate they canceled um homecoming, homecoming yeah wow, right. our homecoming dance got canceled because no one would buy tickets and that's ridiculous <laughs> um so i want us to to leave behind a legacy of everyone wants to be the class of 2016 they want to be, have that much pride they want to go or just and our class has bonded so much over just the past year um, and, and we became really close and really supportive of each other and, and a huge family and we we all know each other. Um, it's a big class. We have over 500 kids in our class, but we we know each other and we love each other and um, there are issues, but but I, I know that we'll have a good year and I know that I have already started talking with Mr. Campbell about plans for this year and we have a couple things going for the beginning of the year and it'll it'll be good. I think like Sydney was saying, because I do have a leadership role as commanding officer in the NJRTC unit we have here, I'm, I'm going to use that to my advantage, whether that's doing stuff within the school, like we, we've tried to better um, the, the campus, we've painted some of the benches and we've added mulch and then um, just kind of gone around and cleaned stuff up over the summer. And whether that's doing stuff on campus or, or through the community, I just want to make sure that we show that we do have pride and that we are trying to actively better our school. And like Cassidy was saying, I do want 2016 to be the best senior class that they have seen. Um, I definitely agree with Cassidy saying that um, 2016 should be um, a year to remember, basically. Um, we do need to set a good example for the upcoming senior classes in the future and just like get out there in the community and just make it make a name for our school again. 
Well, we appreciate all of you. It was great hearing your different perspectives. You all come from different places, but it's clear you all share a love for your school. Y'all really have a lot of pride. We learned a lot today. Um, it's great to hear the other side. So we appreciate y'all and we wish y'all a wonderful senior year. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yes, you. thank you so much for giving us real talk about what's going on inside First Coast High School in our first episode of the Real Talk Talk Back. Um, our next episode will be also on location at a high school here in Duval County. You can always go to our website, duvalschools.org, to learn more information about what we're doing inside our school district. So for uh, Vicki Pierre, I'm Matt Began, and thanks for listening.